Hello again. Welcome to the Print Life Tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a four color job with an underbase on a manual press. You're going to need your film, scotch tape, and a T-square. First, we're going to align our film to the palette. This project is going to print 2.5 inches down from the collar to the top of the yard. We pre-draw standard measurement lines at 1, 2.5, 3.5, and 5 inches. This makes for quick and easy reference. Position the film so that the top of the arc touches the 2.5 inch line. While holding the film, place the T-square under the film and slide it up until you're close to the registration marks. Without bumping the T-square, make the necessary adjustments to the film, getting it centered and level. Tape the bottom edge of the film, creating a hinge. This is a pro tip. This is a pro tip. Take a strip of white paper and place it under the registration marks. It's easier to see those marks through the screen. In some cases, you may have to cut excess film to be able to tape the top of the film to the palette. Tape the top of the film. We're a quarter of the way done. Ooh, Ooh that was a wet one. For maximum efficiency and accuracy, do the following steps in order. First, zero out the print head. Then load and clamp the screen. Now, level the screen to the pallet. On our press, I find that you need to raise the head high up and then twist the print head stopper up or down to achieve a level screen. Now, after the screen is level, I can set the off contact. Right, first, you're gonna loosen the print head bolts. Then, raise or lower the print head to adjust your off contact distance. You'll see here I'm lowering the print head, then I'm touching the mesh down to the pallet and I can tell how far my off contact is just by feel. Let's move on to the real stuff. Registration. Before we get into this, I want to start by acknowledging the fact that all presses are different. For instance, some of the heads on this press move up and to the left when you tighten down the macros, while others will move up and to the right. The point is, you have to get to know each press before you can register efficiently on it. Understand? Moving on. Most presses have three knobs that'll move the print head all over the damn place. I like to start by getting the <laughs> boop, 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 boop. F you, f you. I like to start by getting the vertical line on the registration marks lined up. Pretty tight. I don't see any white around the edges. All right, that one's pretty close. It may need to be moved slightly. The camera was in the way, so I couldn't get it perfect. But you see the idea. It's all micro movements. You clamp the knobs down, you see where it moves, you loosen it up, you move it back or down a little bit more, you clamp the knobs back down, you see where it moves, and you just keep doing that until it gets perfect. We're going to go ahead, rinse, and repeat with the remaining four colors. Uh, this is going to be a time lapse. Okay, the screens are registered. Now we need to tape them and ink them. All right, now it's time to print the sample. Make sure your pallets are good and tacky. We use water-based adhesive, so after each run, we just wet the pallets back down, scrub the lint off, hit it with heat, and their tackiness is back. I'm using a scrap shirt, loading it on the pallet, and I'm gonna check my registration. I print the white base, flash. Let it cool for 30 seconds, and then print the remaining colors. Even though we'll probably print this job wet on wet, I'm gonna flash each color on the setup just to make it easier in case I have to make some adjustments. And you can see that the gray 
I mean, you could do a couple things. You could do a push stroke and fill that really easily, or we gotta move the film down. Make sure to leave your film taped to the pallet until your setup is complete in case you need to make adjustments to the screens. This is a prime example of that. Another trick that we use at this shop is to take the top side of the registration marks, especially on like the beginning part of the setup. This way you can access your registration marks by removing the tape from the top, remove the bottom strip, and now we have clear access to the registration marks. All right, I'm gonna put my tape back over the reg marks and try it again. All right, I got my final t-shirt. I'm gonna load it on the pallet. All right, print the white base, flash. Let it cool for 30 seconds, and then print the remaining colors. The bat's printed, everything's in registration. It almost went as planned, except for the mistake in the artwork where we have to remove the white from the bat symbol. But other than that, this thing's ready to go, and I think you guys get the idea. I'm going to cure this thing, run it through the dryer, and that's it for the day. Tune in next time, and I'll show you how to separate your art files in Adobe Illustrator. Throw me a like, share this video on your Facebook feed, of course, subscribe, and then ding the bell so that you're notified when I upload my next video. Later on, print fam. Phew.